and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. Today I'm actually here joined by Leo who is amongst other things a yoga teacher and today he's gonna help me to take you guys through a beginner's yoga flow because you guys have been asking for my workout routines and I practice yoga pretty much every day almost every day yeah. amongst other things um, and I will try to start sharing other workouts with you as well but today we thought we will introduce you not introduce you but just take you through a nice yoga flow so I will be doing the yoga Leo will be doing the talking so I hope you guys enjoy let me know in the comment section below if you do try it and what you thought so yeah enjoy Okay, so we're going to begin in tabletop position, so hands down on the floor, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Taking a few rounds of this now, cat-cow, when you breathe in, drop the belly, open the collarbones. As you exhale, pull the belly up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin in, move with your breath, breathing in, lifting up and forwards. Exhale, push into the thumbs and first fingers. One more of these, breathing in. Exhaling, tucking in, just warming up the spine. From here, come to a neutral spine, walk the hands one palm width forwards, tuck the toes under here and lift the hips up, sink the heels back and come into a downwards facing dog. Now move however you want to move here, so if you know you feel tight in the back of the legs, you can just palm the heels down one at a time. You can push the thumbs and first fingers into the earth and bring that nice to the elbows forwards. Once you feel comfortable and stable, just holding here. Every breath in creates space. Every exhale, sink and drop into that space. If you're feeling quite tight and this feels difficult, try bending the knees a little bit here. This should lengthen out your spine. From here, look between your hands and just begin to tiptoe to the top of your mat. You're coming into a forwards fold here, so the feet are hip width apart. You want a big bend in the knees. So bend the knees heavily so you can feel the belly and thigh connection. The hands can just come down, they can be around the backs of the calves, on the floor, or even grabbing opposite elbows. Now here, keep that belly and thigh connection, just nod the head yes and no, rock the body from side to side. Perfect. Completely let go of your neck here. Just let it all hang up. From here, releasing opposite elbows and just pushing into all four corners of the feet and slowly roll the spine up, keeping the chin tucked in. Breathe the shoulders up to the ears, exhale, lower the shoulders down, back you are in mountain pose. So you want your toes together and your heels apart. Bring your hands out to the side. You're going to be engaging, so pushing into all four corners of the feet, switch on the thighs, switch on the belly, length through the spine. Bring the hands to the centre of your chest, close down your eyes and focus on your breath. Every breath in creating length of the spine, every exhale softening the shoulders. So we're just going to simply do two rounds of Sun Salutation A. Open the eyes, breathe in, lift the arms up, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, forwards fold. Bring the hands down onto the floor or onto your shins and breathe in length and through the spine here, long in the neck, long in the back. Plant the hands down, step back to a plank. In your plank pose here, you want the shoulders over the wrists. Really pushing back in the heels, pulling the belly in with strong. Tricky movement coming up here. You're going to be dropping the knees down, so lower the knees down, push the bum up behind you, release the toes, chin and chest. Breathe in, slide forwards, engage in the lower back here, not scrunching in the neck, lengthen the spine. And then tuck the toes under, sink the heels back, and lift up into your downwards facing dog. Holding in this downwards facing dog here, just sinking the heels into the earth. Finding a place where there's effort, but it is ease as well, so you're soft with your effort. So if you feel like you can't breathe here and you're straining, just bend the knees a little bit and soften this pose. Look between the hands, step the left foot forward, you may have to bring the hand around the back of the left calf, give it an assist, 
and then step the right foot forwards. Breathe in, halfway lift, long in the neck and the spine. Exhale, forwards, fold, let everything go here. Okay, so we're going to bring our first two fingers around the toes, thumbs onto the top of the toenails. Breathing for a halfway lift here, pulling up the hands. As you exhale, fold forwards, completely let go of the neck. Begin to wrap the elbows around the shins and widen the back. Every breath in, the back of the legs can straighten just slightly, but without strain. Every exhale, the upper body can be folded. Release the pose. Inhale the arms up, lift and let them. Hands to the centre of your chest. One more round of this, breathing in, lifting up, lengthening. Exhale, forwards fold. Breathe in long in the neck and the spine. Plant the hands down, step back to your plank. Shoulders come forwards over the wrists. Breathe in here, lower your knees. Stick the bum up, chest and chin drops. Drop the hips and slide forwards here to this cobra. In this pose, make sure the shoulders are drawing down the back and you're engaged in your glutes here. Finding length of every inhale, every exhale, sinking the hips to the earth. Breathe in here as you exhale, hinge the hips back, tuck the toes under, downwards facing dog. Once again, holding in your downwards facing dog. Pushing into thumbs and first fingers, becoming aware of your breath. And every time you hold a pose, see if you can come back to your breath. Breathing in here. Exhaling. And then look between the hands, step the right foot forwards, maybe give it an assist. Then the left foot, folding forwards here. Okay, bring the toes together and the heels apart. Bring the hands behind the back, clasp the palms together here. Breathe in, look forwards. As you exhale, pull the belly in and fold the body here. So you're opening through the chest here and you're also opening through the backs of the legs. Bend the knees if you need to. With all of these poses, never feel like you are forcing anything. Allow the breath to give you extra space. Release the pose, hands come down. Breathe in, lift the arms up, expand, stretch the body out. Hands to the centre of your chest. One round of modified sun salutation B. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, forwards fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Plant the hands down, step back to a plank. Lower the knees, bum is up, chin and chest drops. Slide forwards and open. Tuck toes under, hinge back. Downwards facing dog here. Okay, now when you're downwards facing dog, turn your left foot out to 45 degrees. Look between your hands, bring your knee to your nose and bring your right foot forwards again. Maybe you need to assist. With the hands down here, square the hips, lift the arms up and we come into this warrior one here. So creating space between the ears and the shoulders the hips are square, so the left hip comes forwards, the right hip comes back. Holding here, breathing in. Plant the hands down. Step back to a plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Slide forwards, open the body out. Downwards facing dog. Second side. Right foot turns out to 45 degrees. Left knee into the nose. Maybe you need to assist as you step forward. Find your foundations and then root to rise. Holding into your warrior one. Every breath in, create length. Every exhale, drop into that front knee. Breathing in, opening the body. Exhaling, squaring the hips. One more breath here. And then plant the hands down, step forwards and fold forwards here. Toes together, heels apart. We come into Utkatasana chair pose. So you're going to draw the arms up and breathe in here. Tuck the tailbone under and squeeze the thighs together. Now if the feet feel more comfortable hip width apart, that's fine, but again, you those thighs. Really great work for the core here, really stabilizing and building integrity. Breathe in here. As you exhale, come to stand. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Okay, bring your feet out to 45 degrees. Okay, heels are slightly apart. Make sure the heels can come down to the earth. So if you need to bring them wider, that's absolutely fine. And lower into your malasana squat. So we're coming into this hip opener. You might be up here, no problem at all. If you can bring the elbows on the inside of the thighs, do so. Find that resistance. Okay, so bring the palms together here. And just take a little roll through the wrists one way. And then the other, we're going to have a little play with a pose called Crow or Bakasana, one of the first arm balances in your yoga practice. So the hands are going to come down underneath the shoulders, okay? You're going to squeeze the knees in and push out with the triceps, find resistance. Now when Ksenia moves here, she's not going to jump, okay? She's not trying to jump her legs up, she's leaning forward slowly, okay? Squeezing the elbows in and then lifting the heels up to the bum. Now, you have this option here. If that's a little bit too much, you can bring the knees on either side of the elbows and come more into this frog pose. Let's go for that one more time. So, Ksenia is just setting up her foundations, knees on the outside, and then leaning forward slowly, maybe one foot, maybe two foot. Even if your toes aren't lifting off the mat, if you can feel engagement and strength building, that is perfect. Really well done. Now, fold forwards and bring your feet hip width apart. Biggest bend in your knees possible and post your hands underneath your feet. Okay, push down in the toes. On the breath in, pull up with the hands. On the exhale, release the upper body, widen the shoulders here. Forget about the backs of the legs, they'll take care of themselves. Look to widen the shoulders and lengthen through the wrists. Release the hands here, step the right foot back, lower the knee down. Bring the hands onto the thigh and release your toes. Breathe in, lift up. As you exhale, sink into this little lunge here. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Pull the belly in. You can stay here or tuck those right toes over and push the right heel back. Find strength and engagement in this lunge. Plant the hands down, step back to a plank, lower the knees, chest and chin, breathing upwards facing, exhale downwards facing dog, holding here in this downwards facing dog. When you're ready, look between your hands, step your right foot forwards. Lower the left knee down, release the toes, hands onto this right thigh, breathe in here. As you exhale, sink into this lunge. Maybe we lift the arms up, maybe we tuck the left toes under, maybe we push the body up here. Pump the hands down, step forwards, fold forward up here, bring the hands around the backs of the calves, Breathe in for a halfway lift. As you exhale, forwards fold here. Find that push-pull resistance. We're really working into the backs of the legs today as this is a common place where people are sat, uh, tight. Release the hands and just slowly roll the body up. Okay, so we're going to come into tree pose here. So for tree pose, you don't want to ground into all four corners of your feet first. Find steady and stable foundation. You're going to lift your right leg off the mat. So your right leg lifts. Options are as follows. You can turn your knee out to the side and keep the heel on the lower shin. You can bring the hand, the, the foot, right onto the inside here. Or you can draw the leg all the way up. Take the variation that works for you. Push down into the inside edge of your left foot. Bring your hands together. Find a gazing point that is still here, that is not moving. Maybe if you want, you can bring your arms up. Don't worry if you drop out of this pose. It's how you react to falling out of this pose that's the most important thing. <laughs> okay, pushing into the I'm inside. A falling edge. tree. Yeah, a falling tree is fine, no problem at all. Wind spec. <laughs> exactly. Okay, drop the foot down. 
release and we take our second side here. So left leg is going to lift, turn the knee out to the side. Okay, so here, foot down, up over here. Key is to root down into the inside edge of that right foot. Focus at a point that isn't moving. Maybe take the arms up. Calm, focus on your breath. Amazing work, guys. Release the pose. Okay, so. I'm going to take one more little balancing pose here. I'm going to move into a warrior three. So, bring your left foot down here and spread the toes wide. Bring the hands to the centre of your chest. Point the toes on your right foot and turn them in. And just lean this upper body forwards and use it as a lever as you drop into this warrior three. Pushing down to the inside edge of your left foot. Really, really nice work. Bring the hands down on either side of this left foot, and we're in standing splits now. So you can play around with this pose here. Make sure the toes are active on the right foot and they're turned in. Fingertips can be down, the hands can come around the back of the car. You can just fold in here, so nothing too crazy. And then when you're ready, step this right foot back long and wide. Now, turn the left foot out to 45 degrees, bring the hands on the inside. Just rock back and forth in this right heel, push the right heel away, Lower the knee down, release the toes. So knee is above ankle here. Body is in a nice straight line. You have options, you can stay right here. You can come down onto your right forearm. Maybe your left forearm, maybe you bring your hands out to the side. So find a place that works well for you and your body where it doesn't feel too painful or sharp. So you want intensity, but not pain. Now breathe into that area of sensation and imagine with every breath in, you're creating space there, with every exhale you're dissipating that tension and allow it to melt. Come back up onto the hands, bring the left hand onto the inside of the left thigh, breathe in length from here, as you exhale, open this hip. You can stay right here, or if you're super bendy, you can breathe the left arm forwards, open out and bind the leg here. Inhale, and as you exhale, push the foot away and open the body. Take your pick. Plant the hands down here. Step forwards. Fold forwards, completely let everything go. Slowly root the body up. Let's take the second side. This nice little flow. So bring the right foot into the middle of your mat. Bring the hands to the centre of your chest. Point the left toe away. Lever the upper body forward. Lean back. So we're looking for this straight line. Even if it's not there at all and you're not all the way down, that's perfect. Focus on pushing onto the inside edge of that right foot. Finding your balance. Holding. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down. Come into the standing split. Find your variation. So Kasemi is playing around with balance here as well as opening. You can even try and bring the right foot behind the back of the calf as well. If you wanted to play. Right in. hand. Yeah, right, right hand <laughs> foot, exactly. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. And drop the foot down here. Now bring the hands onto the inside edge of your right foot. And just rock back and forth here. So the left front ball of the foot is down and the heel is lifted. We rock back and forth and we push this left heel away, lower the left knee down, release the toes. So you can be up here, this is perfect. Or left forearm, maybe right forearm, maybe hands out to the side. We're really just working to that hip there. Come back up onto the hands. Bring the left hand underneath the face, right hand onto inside of right thigh. Breathe and create length. As you exhale, drop onto the outside edge of that right foot. Really working into that hip. You can stay exactly where you are, and you can draw that right arm in a circle, spiral it round and open out. Breathing in here. As you exhale, push the foot away, open through the spine. Perfect. Bring 
From here, release, bring the hands down, step the foot back, lie down onto your front. So I'm going to do a little bit of a back bend now, but also engaging the body. So the palms of the hands can face up towards the ceiling. Find a place that feels comfortable for your feet. Maybe they're together, maybe they're apart. Bring your forehead down onto the mat first. Now breathe in, lift the forehead up and the hands up. And as you exhale, push the feet up and away and lift up through the hips. So we're switching on the whole of the back of the body here. Make sure you can still breathe. Holding for three. Two, one, really stand. When you're right here down onto the mat, bend your knees and just drop your feet from side to side here. Releasing any tension. Okay, so your second round. So we're going to do near enough the same thing. If that felt like it was enough, go there. Or we'll bring the hands behind the back and clasp the palms together. Okay, we're going to go into full row. That's okay, that's all right, we can go into floor bow if you want. So, we're going to set up for floor bow, so exactly the same as before if you wish, or flex the feet, bring the hands around the shins, set up and prepare, forehead is down, breathe in, lift the forehead up, as you exhale, push the feet away and open the body out. So if you're still in that previous pose, that's perfect as well. With every breath in here, we're lengthening, creating space. With every exhale, push the feet away, open through the chest for three, two, one. Release. Bring your left ear down to the mat. Bend your knees. And just windscreen wipe the feet here. So it's really important when you practice yoga, if you can, if you do a big deep back bend or a fold, you always want to do a little bit of a twist or a little bit of a release like this. You don't want to be folding and opening really heavily and intensely. It's not good for the spine. Okay, perfect. So, from here, come up onto your knees. Sit down onto one hip and bring your feet in front of you. So we're just nice and simply going to come into a forwards fold here. The toes are up towards the ceiling. Push the heels away. Now move the flesh of the bum out of the way here. Okay, so your tailbone is down on the mat. Breathe in, lift the arms up, create length. As you exhale, forwards fold here. Now don't feel like you're having to reach or force. If you need to bend your knees here, even if it's this much, perfect. Bend those knees. Just find a position that feels comfortable for you. And then with every breath in, you can slowly push the heels away. And with every breath out, you can pull the belly in and the body will fold itself. Breathing in, creating length and space through the spine. Exhaling, folding the body forwards. Okay, so slowly drawing the body back up. Okay, so let's do a little bit of core work here. Okay. So bring the soles of the feet in, bring the hands around the shins here, and lift the heels up. Okay. Toes can be down if this is already enough. Pull the belly in. You want to look for those shakes. Roll the shoulders down the back and open the chest. Bring the hands in front of you. Maybe we're here. Maybe we can lift the feet up. Maybe we can straighten the legs, but try not to collapse in the body. Open the chest out. Pull the belly in. Draw the shoulders down the back. Holding here for five, four, three. Two, one, release. Okay, so super simple here. We're just going to bring the bum towards the top of the mat. If you have a ponytail or anything that's going to be in the way, get rid of it now and bring the soles of the feet up to the air. So, this might be enough for you. We're going to move into shoulder stand here, plow pose, and then lie down onto the back. If any of this feels too intense, just regress. This is perfect. This is a super beneficial pose as it is. So from here, you're going to bring the feet behind you and lift the lower back up. Bring the elbows in underneath and the hands come on the lower back and the bum to support. Point the toes, lift up one leg and then the other and come into this shoulder stand. So it's not a neck stand. Ksenia's not on a neck here. She's not on the middle of her back either. She's right up on the shoulders and then she's looking to push the hips forwards and lengthen up through the body. If you don't have a straight line here, don't worry, okay? As long as it's not hurting the neck, you'll find where you are. From here, bring the toes behind you. 
options here. If you're rather bendy and the toes come down, you can tuck the toes under, push the hips, heels away, bring the hands behind the back and open your chest here. If you want a softer variation, bend the knees, bring them on either side of the ears, and just drop into this plow pose, this beautiful curve for the spine here. Close down the eyes, and turn this pose into a meditation. Tap your toes. <laughs> okay, so to release this pose, bring the hands down on either side of your mat. You're using these as breaks. Lower down one vertebrae at a time from the upper back to the middle back to the lower back. I'm going to finish this class with happy baby. So, soles and feet come up. Your hands might be around the shins here or around the inside of the knees and around the outside of the feet. Look to push your lower back into the earth here. Every breath in creates space. Every exhale, pull the belly in and the knees should drop out to the side. Don't feel like you're having to pull or wrench your feet. Okay, the weight of your hands, gravity and your breath will do the work for you. Lovely hip opening pose. Release this pose and drop into the most important pose in yoga, Shavasana, <laughs> everybody's favourite. Favorite. <laughs> okay, so you're resting here, toes drop out to the side, palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. I'm going to finish this little mini practice with just a quick body scan. So find a comfortable seated position. Or lying position. Release the soles of the feet, let go of the toes, switch off the calves, soften the thighs, release the lower back, feel the whole of the back sinking to the earth, release the backs of the hands, soften thumbs, fingers, release forearms, soften triceps, shoulder blades sink down back, shoulders are heavy, chest is open. Release the jaw, allow the chin to drop, soften the cheeks, release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Let go of any expression in the forehead. Release the whole of the head. Release the whole of the physical body. Release control of your breath. Eyes are closed. Body is soft sink into stillness. wish to stay in this pose, you can for as long as you like. Otherwise, we're slowly going to draw sensation back into the body. Welcoming small movements into the fingers and the toes. Rolling the wrists and the ankles. Lift your arms over your head here. Breathe in, point the toes away. Stretch everything out. Open the mouth and exhale. Bring the knees up to your chest. Bring your hands around your shins here and squeeze your lower back into the earth. And then drop your knees down to whichever side works for you. You can bring your hands under the head here, making a little pillow, cinching the hips back. 
From here, just push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Lengthen the spine. Bring the hands to the centre of your chest. Push the thumbs into the sternum. Remember the intention you set for this practice. Take a deep breath into the top of your lungs. Open the mouth and exhale. Bow your head to your hands. Namaste. 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 So you guys, this was our little yoga flow. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, I really did. Um, let us know if there's any other kinds of yoga you want, any sort of flows, any workshops, different yoga postures, if you already do them, and we'll help you. And you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, give me a follow. Um, we do a lot of acro yoga together. If you guys want a little beginner's acro yoga tutorial, let us know in the comment section below. We will definitely film it for you. If you are self-isolating with a partner, it's a great, or a friend, or, or a, dog. a brother, or a dog, a cat, you can acro with anybody. Maybe you have, I don't know, a mannequin, a skele skeleton? Yeah, a skeleton at <laughs> work, you can try. We could acro with anything you want. So let me know. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And I love you all very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys forever soon in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Just run. <laughs>